Hello, I'm Bill Bullard with ICAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, do you recall Homer's Odyssey, when Odysseus told his crew to tie him to the mast so he couldn't react to the siren's alluring call to steer his ship into the rocks where all would perish? Well, it's time for us to remember and to learn from this ancient Greek poem, as the sirens are now upon us. Today's siren call is this. Do nothing to interfere with the current structure of the cattle market because cattle prices are rising just as they should be. Now some, if not many more, independent cattle producers will soon perish if they become enchanted by this modern siren call. So let's see why. Now after the beef checkoff program was passed in the 1985 Farm Bill, beef demand declined for 13 years. During this period, and until the early 2000s, returns to cow-calf producers trended sharply downward. And in the mid-90s, cow-calf producers suffered historic losses on a per-bred cow basis including a loss of nearly $160 per bred cow during one of those years. But suddenly, in the early 2000s, cattle markets were hit with a historical and extreme shock. The supply of cattle was suddenly reduced by 5-6%. to 6%. Now this was caused by the closure of the Canadian border to live cattle imports when Canada was experiencing widespread BSE outbreaks. Now RCAF USA sued the U.S. Department of Agriculture to keep the border closed until Canada eradicated BSE. And in 2004 and 2005, cow-calf producers were earning record returns, a function of the market's reaction to the extreme shock. But the siren's alluring call, which was that cattle prices increased because of strengthening beef demand, and the border closure was actually hurting U.S. cattle producers. Now this siren call was so enchanting that nearly the entire industry fought to normalize trade to reopen the Canadian border. And they did reopen it in mid-2005. So the market shock was over. And for the next four years, returns to cow-calf producers averaged well below zero. The sirens won. The market was returned to the status quo and packers bought their cattle cheaper. But in another few years, beginning in late 2010 and through 2013, another extreme market shock hit the cattle market a widespread drought that caused year-over-year -year cattle liquidations, resulting in the lowest number of U.S. beef cows in over 70 years. Now, the market again reacted to this extreme shock. In 2013, cow-calf returns were almost as high as the previous 2005 record. But in 2014 and 15, cow-calf returns jumped to never-before-seen levels. It was amazing. The sirens then called again. See, they sang... Don't worry about packer concentration or rising imports. The markets are functioning just as they should. Supply and demand is working. So don't do anything to reform the market. And so no reforms were made. And cow-calf returns quickly began crashing over the next six years through 2021. The sirens won again. The market quickly returned to the status quo and the packers bought their cattle cheaper. Now this year, yet another extreme market shock has struck. Another widespread drought causing huge liquidations of cattle. At the beginning of the year, the beef cow herd was only about a million head over the historic low of 2014. And beginning recently, the market is again reacting to this extreme market shock and cow-calf returns are likely to improve substantially in 2022. But the sirens are now calling as loudly as ever. They're calling again. See, they sing. Don't worry about packer concentration or rising imports. The markets are functioning as they should. Supply and demand is working. So don't do anything to reform the market. Now, will our industry again become enchanted by the alluring siren song? Will we do nothing to reform the cattle market yet again? You know the rule. Three strikes and you're out. During the past 35 years, cow-calf returns of over $100 per bred cow per year happened only five times. In other words, the cattle market does not respond to everyday supply and demand signals. You know this because you've gone for the past several years with incredibly strong beef demand and record exports, yet your cattle market persistently produced depressed cattle prices. When supply and demand forces only work when the market experiences extreme shocks, then that market is fundamentally broken and your cattle market is fundamentally broken. Don't succumb again to the siren's alluring song. Don't continue supporting the status quo. Help us fix our broken cattle market to put an end to this vicious feast or famine cattle market cycle. 
Help us restore mandatory country of origin labeling for beef. And help us force the packers to begin competing in the cattle market, not just when supplies get historically tight, but each and every week. Now, we need your help. So please go to our website at r-calfusa.com to join with us. With that, have a productive week. Thank you and goodbye.